In this video, we're going to have a look at vector lines in three dimensions. But before we do that, it probably makes sense to introduce this in two dimensions so we can visualize it better. So let's take in two dimensions the vector equation of the line r equals 2, 1 plus lambda 1, 2. So what we've got there is the vector equation of a line. So what this means here, r, the first symbol, just means x, y. So it refers to any point on the line. This here, I'm going to call our start point. This here, I'm going to call the number of steps. And this here, I'm going to call the direction. So what this is saying, this is saying that any point on the line R can be obtained by starting at 2, 1 and walking this number of steps in this direction. So let's have an example using this grid here. So this vector equation here says that we start at the point 2, 1. So let's mark the point 2, 1 on our grid. There it is there, 2, 1. Now, we're allowed to choose whatever value of lambda that we want to generate any point on a line. So in this case, if I let lambda equal 1, then it's starting at 2, 1, then taking one step in the direction 1, 2. So let's mark that on the diagram. So the direction we're travelling in is 1 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction. So that's the point we end up on. We end up on this point here. Say lambda equals 2. Then actually, we're going to start at 2, 1, which is here. And instead of travelling one step in this direction, we're going to actually travel another step in this direction as well. So let's travel another step in this direction. 1, 2, to take us to this point here. Now we can already see that the points we've generated from walking one step in that direction, or two steps in that direction, or for that matter, no steps in that direction, have started to form a straight line. Straight line passes through all three of those points. So no matter how many steps we take, and it doesn't have to be a positive integer, because what we can do is take negative one steps in that direction if we want. So negative one steps, instead of traveling one in the x direction, we'll travel minus one. Instead of travelling 2 in the y direction, we'll travel minus 2 to get us to this point here. Again, we'll see that this point lies on the predefined straight line there. So we can see that all of those points lie on a straight line. This straight line is infinitely long. It has no boundaries. So actually, if we delete these lines, the line that we need is going to look more like this. So that's lines in two dimensions. Now, when we do lines in three dimensions, just don't try to visualize it. It's very difficult to visualize things happening in 3D. So think of it in purely mathematical terms. So in three dimensions, the equation of a line has this form, R equals. So we've got our start point. Let's call it P1, P2, P3, plus lambda. And our direction, which I'm gonna call D1, d2 d3 and it's analogous to what i've just spoken about before so any point on this 3d line i.e x y z is what r means x y z again this is our point to start at this is our number of steps And this is our direction in which we're allowed to walk. So now let's have a look at a couple of example questions that will be given on this topic. So this question says, find an equation for the line that passes through the points A, which is 2, 3, 7, and the point B, which is 1, 4, minus 2. So let's convert those into vectors. So we've got A, which is 2, 3, 7. And we've got B, which is 1, 4, minus 2. So we need two things for this. So we need the equation R equals 
a point P plus a certain number of steps in a given direction. Well, we've got the point P. In fact, we've got a choice of two points. We can use that point there or that point there. So we've got R equals 2, 3, 7 plus lambda. And then we need a direction. Well, the direction of the line is just A, B, i.e. what we do to get from A to B. Or we could use B, A or any multiple of A, B or B, A. So A, B is B take A, which is equal to, so 1 take 2, 4 take 3, and minus 2, minus 7, which is equal to, well, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, and minus 2 minus 7 is minus 9. So therefore, the answer, or an answer, rather, because there's an infinite number of correct answers, is r equals 237 plus lambda minus 1, 1, minus 9. Now, an equally valid answer could be r equals using a different point 1, 4, minus 2 plus lambda minus 1, 1, minus 9. Or equally, another valid answer would be r equals 1, 4, minus 2 plus lambda minus 2, 2, minus 18. What I've done, I've just times the direction by 2 to get from here to here. Now, what we can't, the reason that this is an equivalent answer is that every point we can get to on this line here, the one written in red, we can actually get to on the one written in green as well, but we just take smaller steps. The steps need to be half the size to get from one point to the next. So here, this direction is double that direction, but it's still parallel. It's a multiple of it. So since it's parallel, it is actually the same line. But to get to each point, we just take smaller steps on this line, steps that are half the size than the steps on that line. So equally, a ridiculous answer, but still correct, would be R equals 2, 3, 7, that point there, plus lambda, minus 2,000, 2,000, minus 18,000, because again, it's parallel to that direction there. It would be a ridiculous answer to write, and I wouldn't recommend it. However, it is still equivalent. It is still a correct answer. So let's try another question. So this one asks us to show that the point 10, 13, minus 1 is on the line with a vector equation r equals 2, 1, minus 3, plus lambda, 4, 6, 1. So the first thing we're going to do is try and work out the value of lambda that we need to make this point here. So let's just take the x-coordinate. We know the x-coordinate is 10. So 10 equals, let's try and find the value of lambda that makes the x-coordinate. So the x-coordinates are these ones here, 2 plus 4 lambda. So 10 equals 2 plus 4 lambda, which means that 4 lambda equals 8, which means that lambda equals 2. So if the point is indeed on that line, it happens when lambda equals 2. So let's check this value of lambda now. So if we let lambda equal 2, this implies that r equals, so we've got 2, 1, minus 3, plus 2 lots of 4, 6, 1, which is equal to, okay, so 2 plus 2 lots of 4, 2 plus 8 is 10, 1 plus 12 is 13, and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. 10, 13, minus 1. So therefore, 10, 13, minus 1 lies on R equals, and a conclusion is always a good idea with this, 2, 1, minus 3, plus lambda, 4, 6, 1. And that's the briefest of introductions to straight lines in vector form.
For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.